it is time to stress test the Quasar Cannon and the Heavy Machine Gun. But first, let me just show you this. You can, of course, destroy tanks with the Heavy Machine Gun. It is actually really, really powerful. Although, I don't know what happens here with the game. Like, what, what happened? <laughs> Eliminated what? Hello? Okay, let's begin with the Quasar Cannon. We'll look at the pros and the cons, and then we'll move on to the Heavy Machine Gun. So... The Quasar Cannon, obviously, it is explosive, so it will blow open containers. There are some downsides to this, though. It does take quite a long time to charge. It is quite effective against Devastators as well. It'll basically one-shot them unless you hit them when they're holding the shield. Now, this is almost its party trick. It will one-shot dropships. This is insanely powerful against automatons. Again, the downside to this weapon is a very long recharge time. You can see how long I'm waiting here for the thing to recharge. And it also has to charge fully before it discharges. You cannot partially charge and fire. It has to fully charge and then fire away. But the good news is it can one-shot hulks if you hit them in their face. I mean, look at that. I've hit him straight in the face and it has destroyed that hulk. The same counts as if you shoot them in their back in their weak spot. So this is a very powerful weapon. However, you have to be very, very accurate. And it is difficult to be accurate with this weapon. So this Hulk is moving towards us. I'm going to shoot at him. It's not going to kill him. One of our team throws a stun grenade into him, though. And then the heavy machine gun player finishes him off, which is pretty strong. But yeah, this Quasar Cannon, it, it looks like it does more AoE damage than it actually does. It's still kind of focused damage, but its main downside is the charge time. However, it is pretty good in a lot of situations this is. I think this actually is one of the better weapons in the game. For taking out heavy armor and taking out basically buildings and stuff like that. So look at this factory. You can just fire this straight through there and it's going to destroy it. But remember, it has to fully charge before it will fire. Then it automatically fires. So let's talk about towers. Now, this tower is going to take four shots to destroy. I'm not obviously firing into its weak spot, its crit spot into the vents. I'm just firing straight at the tower. Very safe way to destroy it. You will notice there is quite a lot of sway with this as it's it almost feels like it sways more as it's charging and i don't think it is it's just sort of swaying and really i should be crouching or prone on the floor so i don't really have to deal with this um but this is still good to know for the weapon it is a powerful weapon but as i've just said about 10 times you have to wait for it to fully charge before it will fire it will not fire partially charged also it takes a very long time to recharge and it's also it's not really depicted by the heat sink in the bottom left as well by the weapon it looks like it's full of heat and it's like the heat dissipates but once it's gone you cannot then fire again see the heat had gone well i guess i kind of quit the video but you can see there same situation there so it all makes sense yeah it, it, it's a bit janky with that you almost need to just get used to the fact it takes quite a bit of time um to recharge but i think overall this is a pretty strong weapon like it's really good against heavy armor if you're hitting them in the crit spots it's okay against stuff like this. You know, these walkers, you can blow them away. But it's a little bit inconsistent. Like, you see there, the bot actually fell to the floor. Sometimes, it will blow the walker away. I think it just depends where you're going to hit that walker. And again, this is that clip going in on the Hulk where you can see it almost looks like I've hit that bang in the faceplate. But actually, I haven't. It's impacted on the side. And then, yeah, the stun grenade and the heavy machine gun take it out. So I do think this is a strong weapon. I'm not going to say this is a bad weapon. I'm not going to say it's like a totally OP weapon because it's got a very clear downside. And that clear downside being the fact that it does take a long time to recharge. Now, of course, because it's an energy-based weapon, you do not need to reload this thing. This will just discharge and then you wait for the charge and then discharge, charge and discharge. And you can just keep going like that pretty much indefinitely. But obviously, the downside is the delay between taking shots. But I do think all in all, this is a pretty strong weapon. I think it's got quite a lot of pros, and I think it is much better against the bots. In this video, we're just going to be looking at the bots as well for these weapons, because that's the idea. They've sort of been added to the game because they're going to help us deal with the bots. Um, they are designed for destroying heavy armor. I think against the uh, bugs, it's still going to be effective. It's going to be probably decent against bile titans, um, charges. It depends uh, if they're going to take it out with a headshot. I'm pretty sure it would. But again, it takes quite a long time to reload, so I don't think it would be out stuff like the Eats or the Recoilless when you're trying to kill charges because you don't want to stand in front of a charger charging up it's just going to kill you but yeah all in all i am impressed with this weapon and I, and I think the other thing as well is it sounds sick when this thing is charging up it sounds incredible and if you guys are watching this video the day this went live you actually get the weapon for free it is a mission stratagem which is given to us by joel so you don't actually need to select this or even go and requisition it you'll just get it the machine gun, though, that's a completely different kettle of fish, and uh, that requires a completely different loadout, so I think we should probably go and talk about that. And also, that's not free. 
you need to actually go and get that and then take it as one of your personal stratagems. So this is the heavy machine gun. This is actually really, really good. It's got a massive amount of recoil, but it's got three fire modes. This is what you've got to be super aware of. Now, I've just switched this into its highest fire rate. The amount of damage this does is incredible. It's got a very small magazine, though. And you can probably see I've got the ammo backpack. Now, it is almost essential, I think, to take the ammo backpack if you're going to roll with the heavy machine gun. I've also got heavy armor on. I mean, look at that damage. That Devastator was just deleted absolute i mean that is just in that, that is insane that is actual insanity the amount of damage you can pump out with this this is in the highest fire rate mode i mean look at it it's just it's insane it's pumping out loads of damage but uh oh i've run out of ammo and that is the big downside with this weapon and it does take a fairly long time to reload so like i said what i'm rolling here is the ammo pack and i'm rolling the heavy armor with the blast protection because i don't want to die against the harder bots that they'll kill you you kind of need the shield pack or the heavy armor especially if you're standing out in the open trying to take them on. Now, this is the weapon in the lowest fire rate mode, which is the, the, the fire rate that I generally use because it is surprisingly accurate. You need to account for bullet drop at longer distance, but it is surprisingly accurate, but it has a massive amount of recoil. And you have to remember that when you're using it. You need to be crouching or prone because if you're running around trying to use it, it's just not going to work. And even standing up, as you've seen throughout these clips, it is still pretty difficult. Now, Talking about just blasting through walkers, blasting through their armor, it's it's way better than the Quasar for that. I, I think like when you look at the value of this weapon and almost like the bang for buck you're going to get with it, it's a lot better than the Quasar. But what you're losing is the ability to blow buildings up, right? So I'm only really going to be able to kill... You can kill heavy units. It's hard, though, I will say, to kill hulks because the faceplate is so small. But shooting them in the back, that's, that's very easy. You know, you can do that. Tanks, like you've seen at the top of the video, very easy. You can just stand on the tanks and blast them. You can even blast them from range. Same goes for the towers as well. So this is like, it's a really, really strong weapon. This is like a very strong weapon. But I feel that if you're rolling something like the shield generator backpack or the guard dog, and then you take this weapon, you probably won't get much out of it because you are going to run out of ammo and you're going to run out of ammo very, very fast. And then, yeah, you're all... You're either begging for supply drops, hoping people have got the supply backpack, and it's like, you know, I would prefer to rely on myself for that. I would prefer to take the ammo with me, which is kind of funny because I did slate this ammo backpack because I didn't really see a point of it, but now I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually starting to, uh, well, really enjoy this just because of this weapon. Now, the other thing with this weapon is it does a massive amount of damage, really, for what it is. And if you are prone, if you're crouched, and you just want to sit there and pick off targets, you can totally do that at range. I think this is better than the Quasar Cannon. I think this is a really, really strong weapon. And I think this is something that I'm going to want to keep using. Because I think it's going to be great against the bugs as well. Because you've got that insanely high fire rate. Like, you, if you're getting swamped, you, you, you're just going to be able to spray targets down. It's going to be massively powerful against the bugs. But yeah, this weapon, honestly, I'm super impressed by this. And I think uh, this is probably going to be one of the... Almost like one of my main weapons I think I'm going to go back to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So the Quasar and the heavy machine gun are now available and yeah like i'm thinking the quasar is 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 good but it, the, obviously the major downside is it takes a long time to charge and you're just standing oh, well, actually i should actually highlight that you you don't have to stand out in the open and charge with the quasar you can actually just charge it from behind cover then pop out and fire it you've got to be careful though because it will fire when it's fully charged and you obviously don't want it to fire into a rock if you're standing behind it trying to hide because if that happens you're going to get absolutely smoked and you don't want to get smoked because that would be a pretty bad thing and also quite hilarious that you've just killed yourself with your own weapon well i guess to kind of wrap this video up let's just give arbitrary ratings to these two weapons that have been added i think the quasar i'll probably give it a strong like six or seven maybe out of ten i think the eat is still probably better though just because it's faster at deploying and it's almost more reliable than running around with a Quasar and waiting for it to charge. But the Quasar is cool. So it's got like a cool factor. But I actually think this heavy machine gun could be a bit of a sleeper. It's hard to control the recoil, but the fact you can change the firing modes is really strong. You know, you can actually just put it in the highest fire rate as well and just tap fire. Like you don't have to like go crazy. But I've found that sometimes I can go crazy uh, and just waste all the ammo when I kind of don't want to waste all the ammo, you know what I mean? So for me, it's almost safer to put it in the lowest fire rate, um, the lowest RPM. But when you put it in that high RPM, you can just hose down targets at close range, and that could be incredibly powerful against the bugs. But I think, yeah, that, I'm giving that a strong 8 out of 10. I think that is a pretty, pretty strong weapon. All right, guys, thank you for listening and watching the video.
All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. And uh, actually, this mission was pretty good. I think, I think, I got, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I think I recovered about 50 samples at the end of this mission. Let's have a look at this on the ship. I'm sure I did. Because that's all that matters. It doesn't matter about your kills. It matters about the samples. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was 50 something. I've kind of got that in my head. I might look like an idiot. No, if I don't have that many. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Always get the samples. I don't think anyone else was bothering to get samples. Let's have a look. Yeah, 51. <laughs> Legend performance. All right, guys. I'll catch you a little bit in the next one. See you soon.